What is going on guys? It's your boy Jordan. We are back with another live sales call. It's been a while since I recorded one of these, but hopefully it sounds like it looks like. You have tend to like to listen on these calls and see how they go. And like I said, I'm not that great of a sales guy, right? But because we have systems in place, we warm up our leads. So by the time I hop on a call with somebody, it makes the conversation a lot easier, right? Whether rather as, you know, it's not like a first date where we're kind of getting to know each other. It's more like of a second or third date, depending on how warmed up they are. But nonetheless, we got a sales call today. Hopefully it goes well and you know, give me some praying emojis in the comment section that we close this deal over this call live for you guys, all right? So if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, drop a thumbs up on this video to let me know that you guys appreciate this type of content. That way I know to make more of it and it just helps push my videos out to the algorithms, all right? So today's call is with a lawyer. He focuses on stolen cryptocurrency as well as sim swapping so kind of like some fraud stuff um, we don't work with a lot of these type of lawyers because it's a very specific niche but the process always stays the same when it comes to running google ads the keyword research building the landing pages competitor research and all that good stuff so let's just go ahead and make this phone call live for you guys to check out all right so we are on time here right at three o'clock let's do it Hey Alex, how are you? Hey, doing good. Awesome. awesome. Is it now a good time to talk to you? You got some time? Yes. Cool, brother. Yeah, good to finally uh, catch up with you again and uh, hear from you. So how can I help you? Yeah, so um, I was thinking about reaching out to you for a while um, to do uh, like a marketing campaign for these sim swap cases. Um, I don't know if we talked about it last time, but I don't know if last time we were talking about like personal injury or Okay. Yeah, I think I think we did touch up on a little bit of the crypto side, um, and then I was like, and then we I think we talked about a little bit about both. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Now it's yeah, it's coming back to me now. That's yeah. right. <laughs> it was a while ago. I wanted, yeah, I want to try a campaign just for like the crypto stuff, mm -hmm. and see if you think it's like feasible. Um, and uh, um, and I did have a couple questions as well. If you did think it was feasible, it sounds like you do, and. I also saw, like, if you Google, like, sim swap lawyer or, like, yeah. crypto lawyer, like, law firm names do show up. Okay. So they're doing, yeah. All right, so have, uh, have you ran any ads in the past uh, for this yet? No, and, like, here's the thing. I have done zero ads, and, like, I do get calls from time to time, like, out of the blue from people mm -hmm. who somehow are able to find my <laughs> information. Yeah. And so that tells me there's, like, there's got to be, like, a bigger market, and, like, if you just talk to anyone these days, like everyone knows someone who had like stolen crypto. It's like crazy. So right. I feel confident that uh, there's good potential out there. Yeah. So I mean, uh, when you reached out via email, I did like a quick research to see if you know if this is something we was worth even discussing over a call. Um, so yeah, I did a quick Google search too, and you know it looks like there are people running ads for it. So that is a very very clear indicator that there is a market for it, right? Otherwise, people wouldn't be running at putting paid money into that. Um, so uh, definitely something feasible now as far as like you're targeting like are you looking to just target like a specific like a, like california are you looking to target the whole u.s how does that work uh, for you um whole u.s would be cool mm -hmm. california is preferred um okay if, if we find that it's we need to cast a wider net we can do that but i prefer just to keep it in california okay so it, it sounds like we when we build out your campaign we'll just target the state of california first and then depending on you know whether if we're getting enough traffic or not then we can you know start expanding areas a little bit um so yeah we would just start with california and then if needed we can always make adjustments from there yeah that sounds good Awesome. So, um, I mean, it sounds pretty simple. I mean, you already know what, what it is that we do. We, we take care of everything in the back end for you so you don't have to do anything differently. Um, and then we would just set it up and then depending on how much traffic we get, uh, if we get enough traffic, we'll just keep it the way it is. And then if we are you know, not getting enough clicks or not getting enough traffic or whatever impressions, then that's when we can start looking at uh, targeting different areas and stuff like that. Did you have any questions as far as like how the, um, how the paid ad stuff work or anything like that? 
Yeah, so I remember that your your model is you create like a landing page and then that information turns into like a lead that gets presented to me if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, but so long term, I'm thinking of like my my goal is to like brand the name of the of the law firm. So that's a long term. With your model and like the campaign that you will create, mm-hmm. is it under my law firm's name or is it like... Yeah. Like what does the customer see when they Google? Let's say, for example, the a, a, someone Google's SIM swap attorney. Yeah. And what do they show? What shows up as the result for your the page that you create? Yeah. Good question. So um, the ad itself, when someone searches up or, or searches up on Google, the ad's gonna say you know whatever the SIM swapping lawyer. But when they click on the ad, it's gonna be taken to the landing page that we built for you. Now that landing page we built for you is customized based off your website so we use your logo we use your um, you know the the information that you have on your, uh, based off your website that's kind of where we draw our information to build your page um, so they're gonna see your brand um, it's nothing it's not they're not they're, we're not taking them to a generic page or anything like, like that so when they uh, land on that get in, get on that landing page they're gonna know your brand and your company and things like that okay so that's even better mm-hmm. yeah, that's what I want that's even better than I thought it would be yeah <laughs> Cool. So I can help you guys with that. I mean, with like the with like the website logo and like yeah. language to use and stuff. Yeah. So I mean, we already have. I have your website here. We would probably just you know use the language on your website if you have something um, that you want to present to us and like, hey, this is something you know the verbiage or whatever well, that you want to include. We can definitely include that as well. Um, and then if you have logos that you can send over, that would be great. Otherwise, we would just take the logo that you have on your website right now. So you're talking about the Robinhood website, right? Uh, yep. Correct. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Sounds good. Um, I mean, other than that, I don't really have like questions as far as, you know, what you're looking to do. Um, if we were to get started, you know, we would just build your campaign. We would do a competitor research to see what your uh, competitors are targeting as far as keywords, what their landing page looks like, what their verbiage looks like. Obviously, um, we take in consideration what you want us to present, but we always like to look at what others are doing, what seems to be working, what seems to not be working. And then from there, we take that data and then we kind of put it into your um, campaign. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I would say my website, it was, I made it a while ago and I need to, I'm going to hire someone to update it. Mm-hmm. Um, I just, I just paid someone to create my website for my, my personal law firm, the Alex Farzan website. Yeah, I think it's good. Like, yep. And then, so I'm going to pay the same person to redo the Robinhood one. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the focus on like the types of cases has kind of shifted from the time that I drafted the website. So I will need to give you a little bit of input. I would say go to, you Google Silver Miller Law, Silver Miller, that's the name of the law firm. They do like the exact same type of cases that I'm looking to do. So you can kind of like take it, take their website as like a model for like the, the terms of art or like the special bell words. That would be um, really helpful. Now, again, Alex, what is the domain? Because I'm looking it up and nothing really pulled up. It's Silver as in S-I-L-V-E-R? Yeah, and Miller, M-I-L-L-E-R. Um, so it looks like the domain is for sale. Like there's a, it's not a, it's not a legitimate website that's running right now. Uh, well, let me see what the website is. Hold on. Okay. No, Silver Miller is the name of the, of the firm. Silver yeah. Miller Law, SilverMillerLaw.com. Oh, SilverMillerLaw.com. Okay. So, um, I mean, okay, I, okay, I got it. The website does pull up. This is great. This is like really good information for us to kind of do a little bit of a competitive research on. Um, now, I'm going to, after the call, I'm gonna send you an onboarding form from there. You'll be able to fill out, you know, your basic, you know, information, business information. That way we can use that to build your campaign. And then on there, um, also include this website that you just mentioned to me, and then as well as, you know, cases, Um, that you're looking to get or keywords that people would search up. I think that would really help us speed up the process as far as, you know, doing the market research and stuff like that. So just give us as much information as possible that you think would be uh, beneficial to us when building out your campaign. And then from there, we just put everything together. Uh, Looks like right now we're looking at about a week to a week and a half, hopefully sooner to finish the whole campaign. Uh, But once we finish out, we'll give you a heads up and then before we go live. 
Sounds good to me. Um, so you're going to send me the like a form to fill out and I'll include all the information? Yeah, so after this call, I'm going to send you two forms. Number, the first one is the proposal, uh, which is going to just outline all the services that you know we're going to provide to you. You're going to be able to see exactly what we're going to do for you. Um, you're going to get access to the call rail dashboard so you can track all the phone calls and stuff like that. Um, and then the second form is the onboarding form. That's the one I was just talking about. Okay, now and we're just targeting the state of California. Um, as far as like the monthly ad budget, do you know, do you have like a ballpark on how much you pl uh, plan on allocating towards the Google ads? Um, well, do I remember there was like a, uh, what is the, what was like the base fee, like the campaign fee, was like, it like a thousand? Uh, so our fee is $1,500 for the month and then a one-time setup fee of 500 bucks. Okay, so mm -hmm. 500 plus, Fifteen hundred a month, uh -huh. and then plus X amount for for the ad like, budget, and that doesn't get the yeah the ads doesn't get charged up front. That goes directly to Google. So you only get charged when you know you reach a balance of like five hundred bucks. I think that's when Google charges you. Okay, all right. Uh, I have to get back to you on that. I okay. thought that it was a thousand dollars a month from last time we spoke. Um, no, so I, I'm not sure if it was a thousand back then, but our fees, as far as what we're charging everyone right now is 1500 a month. And then we have that one time setup fee. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, and then to add, what's a, what do you recommend? I mean, like, I, like I'm looking to get like, let's say like, okay. So I want, I want my cases to have like a minimum amount of value. Like I don't want to take a case that's worth less than like $50,000. Right. So, um, if I can get like five cases a month, you know, like five or six cases a month that, are, that where the losses are over fifty grand. Mm -hmm. I'll be I'll be very happy. Okay. Um, and even more would be even better. So yep. um, I would kind of rely on your judgment to tell me what I should be budgeting to reach that goal. Okay. So let me do a quick um, search on what the uh, cost per click, cost per click is going to look like. Um, and then I'll give you a I'll give you a suggestion of what the ad budget you know the minimum ad budget we we should allocate, and then from there once we start running because we don't really know until we start running the ads and you know we start getting yeah. more data and stuff like that. Um, so obviously we can always make adjustments if we want to increase the volume. Um, you know then all we gotta do is just increase the budget. So let me just look at what the minimum is so that we have a ballpark. That way you know we're not running ads and not getting any traffic at all because we don't have you know, enough budget or whatever the case is. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, so I'll, get, I'll, I'll get those three things over to you, the two forms, and then I'm gonna give you an estimated minimum budget for you. Okay, thank you, Jordan. All right, Alex, do you have any other questions for me, brother? Uh, not at the moment, but thank you so much. Okay, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care. All right, all right guys, so I think the deal is pretty much closed on that one. It seems like he wants to move forward. Uh, 1500 plus 500 dollars one-time setup fee um, this one is a little bit tricky because we haven't really worked with a specific type of cases before or specific lawyer um, so I didn't really know what the cost per click was gonna look like if you can do a quick little research and then just give that to him but he seems like a really chill guy looks like he's ready to move forward um, so I'm excited guys that's a new client we already signed a client a new client uh, two days ago Hopefully another, this is another client and I got one more in the pipeline who I have a Zoom call with tomorrow. It's gonna be our second call. He seems really eager to move forward as well. So that just might be three new clients within one week, guys. And I'm charging $2,000 per client. That's a total of extra $6,000 in revenue for my business in one week, guys, on top of what we're already making. So look, guys, hopefully you guys appreciate these type of videos. I'm really giving you guys the inside scoop on what it sounds like to be an agency owner hopping on these calls with, you know, these professionals, right? Professional business owners. So if you guys enjoy these videos, please, it means so much to me if you guys drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel already. And if you want to learn how to go from zero to multiple six figures, for your digital marketing agency. I have a free masterclass. The link is in the description. Make sure you guys check it out. And if you guys wanna connect with me and thousands of other agency owners in this exact space, guys, you guys wanna be a part of something, a community, I have a free Facebook group that you guys can join. That link is gonna also be in the description as well. So everything is gonna be in there, social media, everything. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.